Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is another storyline mission once again in the maze, which I think is the second mission after the kind of first mission where we got the suit. We found another Pandorian colony with evidence of a massacre. Twisted quartered Arthron corpses lie scattered around in the entrance, perhaps the consequence of Alexander Dachnev's experiments. So, it's the first time that this team in particular, uh, the newly formed team number four, will go in. We do have two snipers, um, Ankit the uh, Ankit the Doucher as a heavy. We got uh, Isabella Pinguin Sosa, uh, Carlos, who is uh, going to be our psi operative or uh, priest, as they are called here. And we got Goofy Goober, uh, still trying to warm up with that specialist uh, class. It's not really working that well yet, but we're going to see it, uh, if I can pull it off. Okay, we landed. Well, whew, this time it is a bigger hive. Secure the area. Oh. I can already see those terror screamers somewhere. Which kind of artillery are we fighting against? The Nurgle um, might be the fire one, not sure. Alright. Stilling us with Frenzy. First problem, we don't have a Berserker, which means armor is going to be an issue. we would no it's poison worms okay good the leg is slightly slightly injured 30 armor is still a lot still alive ready penguin Moves up. <clears throat> and we are finding out that there are right enemies there. that can flank us. Multiples, to be precise. Carlos moves back. I was born ready. Good. Going into soft cover here. Quick aim. Um. Wolf range minus three. Does that really matter to us? Potentially not, but yet again, we're not reducing armor with our sniper shots. Might as well just try to deal the maximum amount of damage, which at the moment would be there. Good, let's see what those spider drones are going to do. What's the plan? If they explode just as well as I've seen the last time, 
then that would be awesome. I somehow doubt that, but we're going to see. On it. Target missed. Okay, we even missed it. Wonderful. Alright, this is going to be a difficult mission. You can already see the lack of equipment starts to show right off the bat. Our hope will be that there aren't just uh, a lot of heavy enemies like a Skrilla or a Siren. Tritons and so on, I mean, we can kill them. But if we're fighting against really heavily armored targets, this group does just not have enough tools against that. I'm noticing the quite apparent lack of uh, armor reduction so we need to spec into berserkers in order to get that uh, down uh, let's do the obvious here shall we which is kill one um, in my sights. Kill a second one, and the third one. We're going to mind control. I mean, that piece might not be as obvious, but I really like those little worms. Self-exploding spider drones. Okay, cool. I was born ready. Maybe that'll help us with the armor. We can deal damage once. That uh, thing doesn't have any more armor. And kid moves up, and we really need some uh, armor reduction. That's minus 10 armor. Not great, but okay for now. Oh, yeah. That, on the other hand, was really good. Uh, Isabella Penguin Sosa is uh, dealing a lot of damage here and reduced the armor to 8. Right on target. Identifying target. We're still looking at 290 points of damage. Could try to get this guy down, not sure yet. If we hit the piranha, that'll remove him from the equation. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Taking aim. Here we go. I think we're better off with the smaller ones for now. I think, we'll end, I think we've just destroyed the weapon. Okay, cool. Well, he has a problem now. Because without the weapon, he cannot snipe. And that is his most dangerous trait. Being a sniper. I'll keep my eyes open. 
Okay, we got enough willpower for now. End of turn. taking a bit of damage okay fair enough <laughs> even a bit more or too exposed we need to find better cover ah, that is the harbinger that is our target This target is also a good target. It looks like there are a lot of enemies here. Oh wow, even more. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Big armor reduction. I like that. need to deal with a shield bearer champion as well say the spider drones are okay I guess I'll shoot another one in a second don't have it killed unbelievable poison worm begins to move up here Out of ammunition, okay. Let's get this done. We're moving uh, back. I hope that we can reload. These spider drones aren't too bad. Actually, not worth two 
actions, but they're not bad at all. Uh, always under the assumption if the enemy kind of clusters up, right? Taking aim. Okay, we need to absolute highest priority is get the poison worms down this guy is now bleeding for 30 and cannot no longer shoot his uh, artillery which is good um, acquiring targets Fifteen armor. Uh, we need to get better into a better position. That's the biggest problem. Potentially back here, or we're just shifting flanks and are going all the way over here. Which means they need to funnel through here. Potentially the better call. But yeah, we can't stay in the open. Already has started to cost us too much. Target hit. Okay, we're overwatching. Pistol overwatch. Eyes open. All right, end of turn. So these guys are trying to move up. As long as they deal damage against the drone, that's even okay for me. Receiving frenzy. Yeah, the drone just unfortunately died. That's as good as a hit as it gets. 
They are poisoned, which means in his turn it, it would be 130 hit points. He just needs a little bit more damage and we're, we're good. We're being flanked. However, I need to go over because Ankit is the only one with War Scream, and this turn it will be ultra important that we War Scream. One, two, and a random guy. Good, I'm arm disabled. Trying to aim. The other arm is disabled, and his stupid hat is disabled as well, is that true? Good, so no poison spit, no hit, nothing. Good, we can ignore him for now. On it. Good, bastard. Oh, Could hit this guy. Could also just finish them. Can't reload that weapon. That's a kill, because he's going to lose so much hit points. Dealing some extra damage. Which means he's now bleeding. Oh, he's effectively dead as well. Dead, dead, slowed. Still, a few more enemies to go though. Ready, sort of. I just need the right angle. I've got to focus. Uh, where would 
be a good place for a sniper. Heading out. Positioning ourselves here. Just getting the extra willpower, uh, will points, and reducing the will points of the others is worth it. Watching. We are unfortunately completely tapped uh, with Carlos. Need one more turn to regain it, but mind control would be nice. Uh, these guys here are down to 15 will points, sometimes less. Nine, six. So yeah, they are with, uh, they are within, a re uh, within reason reasonable uh, distance. They are mind controllable. This is a tough mission, mainly because we're lacking the pro appropriate options to deal with all of uh, those guys. Certainly doesn't help that they um, can use grenades and indirect fire. We don't really have a lot of counterplay to that. Got you. This is leg. Well, it will make him time. slower. It's interesting how I put another, uh, mm, another uh, mimic beacon out there, but it seems. No. I was about to say they are completely ignoring him. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they are actually going for him. mind controlled so this here is a problem the real right source there. of the problem though it's right over there Moving to coordinates. Identifying target. All right, time to hit the head. Come on. On my way. I'm going. Bastard moves up. Luckily, we farmed those will points because now they are very much needed. That's the end of the mind control. Finally, it took us so many resources and really poor combat positioning here, which means we need to deal with whatever these guys can do. We need to deal with them right now. 
The melee one is the most problematic. frenzied but he doesn't want to flee try to go for the head which is the other source of damage and since we attack from behind he's now dazed and both of his weapons are disabled trident poacher however is still very much well and alive Does he have a gun? No. Melee character only. Rolling out. Um Ready. We're going to use all of our overwatches go. here. Fighting against paralysis. Ow. So yeah, now they are coming in harder and heavier than ever. And this is where we're going to see whether or not the team makes it or breaks it. <laughs> up okay Ooh, and kid the doubter didn't doubt himself just barely survived Forty-three. I need to reload. Are we going to heal ourselves or not? dead he is dead taking aim Which brings us to the next target switch ready like to kill her because then I could boast 
So let's get her really low. Yes. Is that a kill? Five will points, fantastic war cry. Immediate relief. <sighs> okay, that was close. Enemy kill. Getting will points back because we will need them next turn. Loud and clear. Ready to fire. Can we kill that too much armor? Gotta focus. Good. Equipment gone means that guy does not annoy us anymore. And he is dazed and bleeding, which is great. Um, I think there is a destroyed spider drone i was sort of hoping there would still be one left but apparently that's not the case holding position i'm here overwatching well that could have gone better yeah that's a bit unfortunate First things first, we definitely want to do war cry whenever possible. That should have done better. And kid hits them nicely. Very well done. Ready to fire. Gotcha. <laughs> Moving up, next turn I can also heal and kid. Oh, we're still paralyzed partially. But luckily we got will points. On it. Paralysis will wear off. Providing assistance. Just topping him, uh, topping him off, really. Ah, 
I'll get him next time. All right, Overwatch. I think this time I'm actually quite happy with how I played the entire scenario here. Super solid defense around that middle uh, ring. Took took away the weapons. Yeah. Made sure that we're okay with what we were trying to do. All right, so blood sucking arm done. Blood sucking arm done. Not sure if he still has more blood sucking arms, but we'll find out. Let's do this. Let's have a look. Bastard gets the better angle. Moving now. Acquiring targets. Enemy hit. Ready. For my team. Nice. 40 poison is really good. I like that. All set. Did he say all set or ball sack? Sometimes with these voice lines, maybe I'm cr uh, the crazy one, but they are mumbling like there is no tomorrow. He could have just said ball sack which would be incredibly funny all things considered <laughs> he's like yeah ball sack Sky panics and is semi running away. We have another Triton. One this time. Hope I can find cover. That yet again has no. Uh, no arms. What's our plan? Moving now. Ready to fire. Disabling torso, disabling leg. Holding position. What's the plan? Inside. And another hit and another kill. Good. We use quite a few med kits. I'm the first one to admit that, but it was well worth it. To win against these level of enemies with an absolute brand new team, 
and not even the best kind of equipment on top of that. Just it's actually quite good. Receiving loud and clear. What's our plan? Heading out. Nothing will get past me. I'm here. I'm on my way. Carlos moves into full cover. He does have poison taking on him and normal bleeding. And now he's dead. Okay, cool. Wow. That was a pretty difficult mission. Yeah, we got 600 experience for it. I definitely a couple of learnings here we need better uh, armor penetration with the team like much much better number two we need a better or a second utilization of war scream just one heavy isn't enough we need definitely need a second one good unusual living weapons that have been producing its own asset projectiles. Danchev AR-1. So what is that weapon that you were talking about? Assault rifle. 30 damage, 160 overall deals 30 poison long range okay tell you what um in the butrones compares the two with uh, uh, one another the Sinidron has a higher range, but not the asset damage. Same burst, same action points. It is producing its own weapon. Uh, its own ammunition. Can we build that weapon now? No, I think these are just unique. Yeah, unique armor and unique weapon. So you could Theoretically give one assault that plus the entire suit
yeah i mean it's great and it is relatively light and we got tomb of the mad scientist which might be the kind of third set of equipment that we would get um, with this team we're definitely flying back and we have arrived at uh, the next mission site Good, we're definitely going to do that mission next. Um, oh yeah, finally. More tech and lots of food gone. Good. Next up, we're definitely going to go for that mission. The Prime team afterwards will do the Pro uh, Proteinian Mutane uh, refinery down here. Maybe takes a break in between. Uh, team number three gets ready for the Pandorian nests. Pfft, two of them. I'm so not looking forward for that. There's the next nest, and we haven't even had anyone uh, attacking us. But on the good news, like we're getting those missions done. We have Prisoner of Ice here, and the rebuke there. So these seem to be kind of the storyline missions that we're currently doing. Really ap appreciate them. And we do have another scavenging site here as well. That is something that the... Um, fourth team can also do just getting the scavenging sites they can actually fly here here and depending on how hard these missions are f even fly here and then back so yeah that's that's good and we do have the pirate king that's potentially a bit too much for them as was a later mission Yeah, in terms of vehicles, we need a few more probes, it seems. But we haven't even yet gotten the antediluvian, uh, antediluvian um, mines cleared. For now, we're still at that and that. And then there are two further up here. And I think one was down here. Good, one last uh, thing. Recruits will take some time. Uh, team number three. Oh, Euler got level up. Uh, how could I have forgotten about that? I think we're going to go for Mark for Death. I like that ability a lot. And we're saving points for rapid clearance because I also like that uh, a lot. Good, back to what I wanted to do beforehand. I think this team here could slowly start to get... Um, Mutated. We wanted to ignore pain next with Kyle. Who 
would benefit from a mutation the most at the beginning. I mean, clearly we've made him a priest, right? So might as well give him the right head for it. So that in itself was good. Do we need the Skrilla for something else? I don't want to uh, catch another one. These here were sim uh, simpler. I think the, uh, these two were actually relative, relatively easy to capture. So we do have a great hat uh, now. Um, Giving him the Stompalex for for better um, better hits, or giving him the regeneration torso, which I think might be the better choice here. Just being overall more sturdy. What's accuracy is hmm, okay. He gets quite a bit from the judgment head. His problem is he only has two-handed uh, weapons. The moment that he loses his arms, it's game over for him. So having this here really will help him. And we're still at an okay level of accuracy. It's not minus or something. I think the snipers actually would benefit quite a bit from it now. But I can wait. Well, we do. We do not have enough for the typical combination, which would be legs plus torso, right? But legs plus. Um, Plus helmet, we could do, and we're definitely going to use the helmet here because we still want the jetpacks, the jump jets. So, Incy Vincy, legs are good, and we're mutating the head. I don't know how I feel about mutating <laughs> most of the soldiers, but it is war, and at the end, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to um, in order to win, right? <clears throat> so yeah, team three slowly but surely gets mutated as well, just like team two. <clears throat> and depending on how many mutagens we have, maybe I'll just continue afterwards. I am not particularly shy with um, with uh, using uh, this armor because it's this here seems to me like a really really solid resource, which will help us to not spend as much um, on equipment. Weapons we often loot. We very seldomly loot armor, and we can use uh, the mutagens in order to compensate for it and almost create kind of alien-like soldiers. And team one and team two, just mutation and equipment wise. Team one equipment wise is fine. Team two definitely needs a bit here and there um, and more 
experience because these guys here still waiting for their second class and so on but generally speaking they are fine if uh, team two just spends some time in uh, born in the usa with all of the training they should be a-okay uh, if no problem they will clean out the heavier missions here and will elsewise just chill with them okay cool Look, guys, this is the end uh, of today's episode. I can see that a pattern or a kind of strategy, a combat plan is forming as, as and when born in the USA can stand on their own uh, feet, maybe opening a, s a second uh, base somewhere here and having team five available. Then I think team two can also help more on this side of the globe. Uh, they have uh, traveled quite uh, quite a bit around uh, the uh, the globe so far worked in all regions but yeah they they are forced to be reckoned with or maybe we'll just leave them here and use that brand new team um, or team four even to kind of fly down here and uh, do some stuff uh, there see if we can build up uh, a further presence down here um, one last, I'm often saying one last thing and then it'll take some time. We have living quarters and medical bay here. So maybe we'll just use this here as another base. It feels kind of adequate. These three bases are a nice triangle. They work very well uh, together. I almost feel a base down here is a bit too far off unless, unless there is a lot of shit happening in New Zealand that I'm not aware of. And this here seems to be a, a new set of islands that we're not really aware of. Maybe Antarctica, uh, maybe Atlantis. I don't know what that's supposed to uh, mean, but I am pretty solid in geography and there isn't any major group uh, of atolls here. But okay, I mean, maybe this is the final destination where there is an underwater base or whatnot. Um, but yeah, having a base here might actually help us because this here seems like a highly, highly dangerous zone. So building up that base is not a bad idea. How much does it cost to activate a base? Okay, so that's actually, relatively speaking, okay. Do they all cost the same? Yeah, it just increases in price, apparently. Okay, anyways, guys, take care. See you in two days, and goodbye.